bear in mind, number one, often people do say that if you change the value of the physical parameters mm -hmm. just a little bit, the universe as we know it goes away. The problem with that is we can only do that analysis if you change the parameters by a little bit. If you allow the parameters to change by a lot of bit, not a little bit, and you allow many of the parameters to change simultaneously, nobody can really say what that cosmos would be like. Hmm. And so it's possible that there are patches in parameter space where you would get different kinds of universes that perhaps would give rise to different living systems. And then each living system in its universe looks around and says, wow, this universe is so special. It must be that there's some kind of, you know, grand design that got us here. But they're all saying that in their own parameter space because they're all making this mistake of only looking in a small neighborhood around the point in parameter space where they exist. So that's mm, point number one. And so part of it is we just don't really know enough to like make... If we, if we turned up gravity a little bit... And, and left everything else the same, I agree. But if we turned it up, like, to 11, <laughs> that, 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 that somehow <laughs> right. that might... Yeah, but what if you that? simultaneously turn up the repulsive force that might come from a universe yeah. with charged... Pro I mean, you, yeah. it, it's a highly complex problem. And there might be something about turning up gravity, which necessarily also correlatively turns up this repulsive... Conceivably. Right, so it. so it's just a fairly complicated problem that you don't want to dismiss too quickly yep. by saying it all goes away unless it's precisely as we've seen. But it is the motivation for the multiverse, another motivation, because one explanation simply would be there are many, 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 many universes in which the parameters of all different values across those many universes and in most of those universes, the conditions are not amenable to living systems like human beings. But in one of those or a small number of those universes, the conditions are amenable. And of course, we're in one of those universes because we could not exist in any of the others because the conditions are not correct.